So here's just a random part I drew up in Fusion 360. Um, it's nothing of any importance, so it's just got a few sizes on it so I can try and check dimensions and see how we're going because there's some parts I want to be um, making for a job I've got um, planned ahead. So um, yeah, it's just, I drew that up and then we can we'll simulate the toolpath of what we're going to do. Hopefully, there's our tool, obviously. And if we push the play button, it's not working. Hmm. Alright, I'll have to check this out. Oh, it's working because I was still in rotate mode. Um, I still got stuff to learn, obviously. Yeah. So, do our tool paths. It's pretty simple. Um, there's videos on how to figure all this stuff out. I'm still learning for the laser cutting stuff. Fairly similar to. Um, all the milling stuff, but just a couple of different things. But anyway, um, always things to learn. So we'll have a look at the part and see how we went. Here's our part here, just on a bit of crappy um, ply that was three mil ply I had around, and it's nearly cut right through. So that was um, six passes, five or six passes. I can't remember over that. So, it's not a very strong laser. I've more got it for the grey scale and engraving aspect than the cutting. But I thought I'd like to try and cut some things out too, because I've got things to do. So, I'll see if I can pop that out, may or may not, and then I'll have a bit of a measure and see how things look. So, I popped it out and measured up. It did tear a little bit, because it wasn't cut right through in the back there. So, obviously more passes next time. Um, it measures up fairly well, so from this edge to this edge is 70, supposed to be 75 and it's within um, 0.05 and then it's supposed to be 50 mil, and it's the same thing within 0.05, depends where you measure it because the edges are slightly tapered. The holes, um, they were about 0 0.1, 0 0.15, um, what do you call it, elliptical? Anyway, they're not true round, but um, yeah, pretty close. There's the bits we cut out. So yeah, um, things to learn. That's a good little trial and test. At least I know things are going to come out pretty close to size with the current settings I've got. I can change the nozzle diameter and curve width and all sorts of things to get a different um, thing, but I'm not too sure how it would work, so I thought I'd just try it and see how we are. Um, there was a question on what kind of machine this is. This is just the Atom Stack A5, and this is the 20 watt model. Um, so, yeah, I did have a 30 watt model ordered, but there's a bit of a story to that one, which I'll save for another day. Um, and it's not the 20 watt, is not the power of the laser that is the power consumption of the machine so that's sort of how they make them sound big and great but they're not really it's only five watt i think it says here somewhere if it'll focus yeah five watt there so yeah i really didn't get this for cutting as such but it's something it can do so i just want to try that out um so yeah, that's where I'm up to for now. And the software I'm using is um, Laser Gerbil. So I'm definitely no expert on this. Um, I use Gerbil for the CNC milling. So it's not all that much different. But obviously it is different to a degree. But um, everything's just like anything CNC. It's all just codes and things so once you get your head around it's not too bad um so yeah just need more practice more time and hopefully we'll get there